First at five, conversations about ways to house the homeless continue as leaders explore different options. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. One option is to take advantage of cottages at the Zamborano Hospital in Boroughville. Sheena Loshudo is live in Providence, where a state committee voted to let the housing department continue working towards that. Well, under this new proposal, the housing secretary says about 30 people would be housed for about one year. But some lawmakers say a lot more people should be a part of this conversation. Will cottages at the Zamborano Hospital be used to house those who need shelter? It's a proposal made by the state, and today it went a step further. The Rhode Island State Properties Committee votes to approve negotiations between the Department of Housing and an organization to make the idea come to life. We're aiming to open up smaller facilities in a variety of locations that would enable homeless individuals and families to make choices. Housing Secretary Stephen Pryor says the cottages could house 10 families or 30 people and would be offered for a year. These discussions are underway as the warming center at the Cranston Street Armory is slated to close later this month. We are we are certainly looking among the first families and among the first individuals involved for that matter to uh, folks who are currently living at the armory. But I think it's important to include the town every step of the way. Senator Jessica De La Cruz represents Burraville and is hoping residents get a chance to weigh in on the proposal. To her, it's important the state is considering the already vulnerable population of the campus. If residents are able to voice their concerns and even just ask questions, then their fears may be may subside. They may say, well, this is a really great opportunity for to house families or, you know, let's just talk about there's there are no kitchens and kitchens in the cottages. So how are families going to be able to cook for themselves? We're, we're in touch. Uh, with the management of the town uh, and there's been a discussion regarding whether we might appear before the council or have meetings of some type and we're very open to that. In at this point, Pryor says he doesn't know how much this proposal would cost. With the developments today, that's something they are now able to officially look into. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. Rhode Island is a step closer to using the Zamborano Hospital property to provide places to stay for families experiencing homelessness. The housing department says they're looking at several options with the shelter at the Cranston Street Armory in Providence set to close in less than two weeks. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo tells us about the Zamborano plan, which is still in its early stages. Proposal is the key word here. At this point, Secretary Stephen Pryor says he doesn't even know how much this would cost, but that's something they are now looking into. Three cottages housing 30 people for one year. That's the foundation of a proposal Rhode Island's housing secretary is championing. This is uh, in many ways the start of a process. We aim for it to be efficient. The proposal would utilize cottages on the campus of the Zamborano Hospital in Boroughville. The state's properties committee gave the green light Tuesday, allowing the Department of Housing to enter negotiations with an agency that would help make that idea come to fruition. Tri-County CAA. There's no word on a timeline, though Secretary Pryor says he hopes to see things move forward in a matter of weeks rather than months. He admits personally he has not been inside those cottages. We understand that there are some repairs that are required, but the way they've been described from the tours that involve the housing department as well as the state uh, properties organization DCAM uh, is that the repairs are manageable. There may be differing levels across the three different cottages. So we it's possible that we'd bring one online and then the next, that sort of thing. But that's TBD. DCAM has to do a more thorough analysis. And now that we have this authorization, they'll they'll start that process. Pressure is building as the Cranston Street Armory, which has been used as a 24 hour warming center, is set to close on May 15th. We are, we are certainly looking among the first families and among the first individuals involved, for that matter, to uh, folks who are currently living at the armory. And it is worth noting tomorrow the same committee meets again, this time to talk about the Cranston Street Armory. Reporting in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.